Okay, we're going to have a look at subtraction in this video, and particularly have a look at the column method of subtracting, and have a look at some other strategies as well to allow you to kind of confirm your answer and check if you're correct. Similar to addition, we need to make sure we set up our place value appropriately, um, and also just being aware of some language and terminology to allow us to uh, calculate these properly. Okay, so this first example, we're subtracting 88 from 396. Okay, so we've got 396 and we're subtracting 88 from that. Okay, need to set up a place value. So we've got hundreds, tens and units. Like I said, you wouldn't be expected to do this. It just keeps me right though. So I've got three hundreds, nine tens and six units. And then I'm subtracting 88. So that's eight tens and eight units. 88. We'll put the subtraction symbol there. Okay, so let's have a look here. Six units, subtract eight units. With this method, we need to exchange. So we go across to the next column. So we go across to this tens column, and we're going to exchange from this nine tens. We're going to exchange, and we're going to take like one lot of ten from there, which will be ten units, which will give us sixteen units. So we've got sixteen subtract eight, which is eight. Eight subtract eight, which is zero. And then we'll get 3 subtract 0, which is 3. So our answer here is 308. What this technically means is if we think about a number line. Not a very good number line, I'll try that again. Is that better? If we think about a number line, and let's just say somewhere up here is 396. And somewhere down here is 88. What we've found here by subtracting is we have found the difference between those numbers. Those numbers are 308 apart. Okay, 396 is 308 more than 88. 88 is 308 less than 396. Okay, example two. Calculate 4082, subtract 591. Okay, so we've got thousands here, so we need to go to our place value. So we've got thousands, hundreds, tens, units. So we've got four thousand, zero hundreds, eight tens and two units. And we're subtracting five hundreds, nine tens and one unit. Okay, so two subtract one. 8 subtract 9 with this algorithm we can't do, so we need to go across to the next column. The next column is a 0, and I can't exchange from a 0, so I need to go across to the next column. So I'm going to exchange from 4, so 4 would become 3, so that's like 3,000. And I would carry my 1,000 there. I would then exchange from this here, to then allow me to get my but my value there to do the subtraction. 18 subtract 9 is 9. 9 subtract 5 is 4. And then I've got 3 subtract 0, which is 3. So my answer is 3,491. Okay, so let's just take a few wee notes from here. If we know, I'm just going to write this out again. 4082 subtract 591. If we know that this is 3491, then well, we know that 4082 subtract 3491 is 591. Okay, that might not be immediately obvious, but if we think about easy numbers, um, let's just say why. If we say that 10 minus 6 is 4, well, we know that 10 minus 4 is 6. So I've just applied that there. Okay, so that's just linking um, some ideas there with subtraction. Um, what else do we know? We know that 591 plus 3491 is 4082. Why do we know that? Well, let's think about an easy example. 
If we know that 14 subtract 2 is 12, well, then, we, then we know from that that 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, just trying to link different strategies and trying to link different mental images um, to, to help us with subtraction here. Okay, here's this word difference. Find the difference between 4,527 and 11,212. Okay, so difference means we want to want to subtract to find out how far apart those numbers are. Look at our place value. We've got 11,000. So we've got, well, let's zoom in a bit. So we've got, we've got our 10,000 columns, our thousands, our hundreds, our tens and our units. Okay, so that's 11,212. When we subtract, we always put the larger number on the top with the column method. Doesn't matter with addition, but it always matters with subtraction. And then we've got 4,527. Okay, so let's have a go. So two subtract seven, we can't do with this algorithm. So we're gonna go across to the next column and we'll exchange from one, which will become a zero. 12 subtract seven is five. 0 subtract 2, we need to exchange from. So 10 subtract 2 is 8. 1 subtract 5, we need to exchange. So go to the next column. And then we exchange. 11 subtract 5 is 6. 0 subtract 4, we need to exchange. 10 subtract 4 is 6. So the difference between these two numbers is 6,685. I'm going to set this up here as like a number line. Uh, we'll do that there. We'll do something like this. So what was it? 6,527. And 11,212. This is just another way for us to verify how far apart these numbers are. So we could think about subtraction as counting on, like how much do we have to count on to get from here to here. Um, but when we're counting on, it might make sense just to do it in lots of little steps. Uh, 27 is quite an awkward number. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to count on 3. Because that's going to get me to... 4530. Oh. Uh, I'm going to try and get up to the next 100. Okay, so I'm going to try and get to 4600. So I'm going to add on 70. And that's going to get me to 4600. Let's see where we are, where we want to get to. Um, it would maybe make sense to get to the next 1000 from here. So the next 1000 after that would be 5000. So to get there, I would need to add 400. These diagrams are not to scale. Um, so if we added 400 there, that would get us up to 5,000. Okay, so notice here we've got 11,212 and we've got 5,000. Well, I know that 5,000 to 11,000 is 6,000. So from 5,000 to 11,212, that's going to be... 6,212 and you'll hopefully see that when we add these values together so that's 6,212 plus 400 is 6,612 6,612 and then if we add 70 that's 6,782 add the 3 6,685 okay it's just another way to kind of think about um, different strategies um, as to how we would subtract. Obviously the main goal is we just we want you to be able to see this and to be able to do this really quickly um, and be able to kind of think a bit deeper as to what subtraction actually means. Thank you very much.